Hello YouTube people, I have a problem. I bought Seiko 5 which turns out is magnetized. And this is not a tutorial video. I will put three links in the description that teach me how to demagnetize the watch. So I will just, first of all, I will try to magnetize this movement and demagnetize it and see the readings on the phone. And speaking about the readings, I downloaded, downloaded this magnetometer app which uses an internal sensor of the phone which is the same as for compass I believe and look what happens when I get my phone close to the desktop speaker like it's 10 centimeters away from the desktop speaker and numbers go crazy already and I have to take my phone quite far away from the speakers to normalize the readings once again. Now let's see what readings do I get when I put the watch next to the sensor. Now I, from my testing I find out that the sensor is just behind this corner of the phone. So any metal object will definitely change the readings a little bit. This is not magnetized watch and readings change a little bit but nothing really serious. Another watch which is not magnetized also let's see the readings it does change the readings but nothing really significant any metal object will change the readings a little bit now let's put sake of five face up not much of a difference let's put it face down and oh we have red red numbers so yeah it's magnetized also let me show you time grapher as a time grapher i use this watch accuracy meter app it doesn't show the amplitude, but anyway, I see the beat error and I see the rate. So first of all, let's try the non-magnetized watch, how it should look like. So this is very healthy watch, plus seven seconds and beat error just 0 0.1 milliseconds. Very healthy watch. Now let's put Seiko 5 next to the microphone. Let's see what the readings we're gonna get. Plus 474 seconds, beat error 4 milliseconds. Uh, it's probably not only magnetized, but it also needs servicing. So anyway, first of all, let's try to demagnetize the watch. First of all, I will try with this dummy movement. It is broken, it doesn't work, but the size of the metal is exactly the same, basically. So first of all, I'll try to magnetize it. Let's hold it on for 10 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's see the readings on the phone. Oh yeah, big numbers, big red numbers. Now let's try to demagnetize it. And the way to demagnetize it, as I saw in tutorial, you have to hold it in place and lift it off over the period of something like five seconds and do that multiple times, like four times maybe. Okay. Let's do it and lift it off. One, two, three, four, five. Again. Okay. Let's see the readings. The readings now. Other side. Okay, it works. Now let's do the same with Seiko 5. So as I saw in tutorial, easiest way to do it is like fix the strap this way so you can lift off the watch with one hand now let's get it done one two three four five okay five times let's see the readings small changes but we don't see red numbers anymore oh i think we fixed it what about other other way yeah, no more red readings. Okay, let's put it on time grapher. Well, still not healthy. Plus 340 seconds, beat error 4 milliseconds. And the watch is set to as negative as possible. The slowest possible is still 350 seconds. Okay, let's try to demagnetize it once again. You know what? This time I'm gonna do it without the case back. Let's take it off. It might be more sensitive this time let's see what we're gonna get 
Okay. Also, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see the readings now. Looks crazy, but we do actually have some readings at least. Plus, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten. Four milliseconds beta minus twenty and something. What the hell is wrong? <laughs> Have you ever seen a graph such crazy like this? What the hell? Anyway, it shows that well, this demagnetizer is probably not strong enough, but with the cover off, it does the job, I guess. So let's try to adjust the watch. Okay, as you can see, it is fully on the minus right now. Man, it still barely runs. Yeah, this watch is not healthy whatsoever. Okay, let's move beater and the speed of the watch towards this way. Let's see what the readings we're gonna get. Oh man, the amplitude is, looks like this watch is about to stop. Oh well, okay, I guess. I guess I need to see a proper watch, <laughs> proper watch maker. Okay, so yeah, at least it shows that demagnetizer works, but this watch definitely needs servicing. So sorry for the sad ending, but I hope, <laughs> anyway, it's like some kind of a vlog. Anyway, wish me luck. Goodbye.